Okay. So our topic for tonight is uh, trading with divergences. Okay. You can screenshot this one, yung cheat sheet natin. So actually, hindi ko sila kabisado lahat, yung ganito. Pero, pero <coughs> may cheat sheet ako. Meron akong cheat sheet sa phone. Meron akong cheat sheet sa PC or laptop. So anytime I can visit. So what is divergence? Why divergence is so important? Different types of divergence. How to trade and use divergence. Ito yung, ko ito yung ko cover natin for tonight. So what is divergence? An indicator and price action being in disagreement. Okay? So when the price is up, the indicator is down. When the price is on double bottom or double top, then the price is, uh, the indicator is going up or going down. So it is where the price and set of relevant Dito indicators. Guys, my question? Wala pa tayo. Uh, I think i-mute ko muna kayo. Then later part, bigyan ko kayo ng tayo magsalita. Okay ba tayo guys? Kung ano naman, uh, mag-chat na lang kayo. Okay? Hindi. Mas maganda kung ano natin eh. Para open discussion tayo. Okay. Okay ba tayo dyan? Okay po. Okay, great. So, so, it is an earliest indication of reversal. So, divergence, eh? why divergence is so important? It is an earliest indication of reversal. It is a good sign to exit or entry in a position. It is a good sign to scale into a position. It means that you are usually buying near the bottom or selling near the top. This makes your trade a very small relative to your potential rewards. Okay? So, what are the different types of divergence? We have a regular bullish divergence. He then bullish divergence, exaggerated bullish divergence, regular bearish divergence, he then bearish divergence, exaggerated bearish divergence, <laughs> regular bullish divergence. So, regular bullish divergence. Regular Buddhist divergence is the most frequent. It is also usually considered as a sign of reversal. Okay? If the price is making lower low, but the oscillator is making higher low, this is considered regular Buddhist divergence. We don't need a series of lower lows. We only need one low to be, an, to be lower than previous low. It can be found near bottoms. Okay? Okay, so, yung blue, ito yung price natin. Yung nasa top price, yung nasa bottom, ito yung indicator natin. I, I normally use RSI sa indicator. Okay? Mas mabilis natin silang makikita yung divergences. Mas mabilis natin silang makikita na yung divergences. Yung yun. So, example of 
regular bullish divergence. So currently, this one is ion, ionics. So as you can see, doon sa circle na yan, nag-form siya ng mga lower lows, okay? But the, but the indicator is making higher high, higher lows. So, any questions for that? Guys, <clears throat> questions? Questions, questions, open, open. For regular bullish divergence. Later part, I will give you more example. Okay. Okay. So I can proceed. So no questions. You can you can unmute ah. How to identify bottoms? That's that's another story, Mr. PT, ah. <laughs> Okay, how to identify the bottoms? Uh, normally, we have Fibonacci. Okay, bibigyan kita. We have Fibonacci levels. I, I normally use Fibonacci to identify bottoms. Okay, so remember mo lang yung golden ratio. Okay, which is 618, 382. Then... Meron pa kasi akong inad na two more uh, powerful Fibonacci level, which is 786 and 886. So these two levels na nakuha ko is galing to, derive ito sa 618. Okay? Just isipin nyo na lang yung price from the, from the top tapos nag-bottom sa let's say 618 sipin niyo na 618 na discounted yung presyo 61 uh, 61.8% discounted yung presyo ng stock na yon so sino ba ang gusto ayaw noon kumuha or let's say sa let's say 88.6% 88.6% discounted yung presyo ng stock Sino bang ayaw nun kumuha? Okay? Most of the harmonic traders, meron silang pattern, actually all the harmonic traders, meron silang pattern sa 786 and 886. Okay? So, they're very important sa mga harmonic traders. Meron bang questions pa? Nasagot ko ba tanong mo? Piti. Piti, nasagot ko ba tanong mo? <laughs> Makapagsaita naman kayo. Pwede ba? Unmute nyo yan. Self-muted kayo eh. Oh, great, great. So, kung may tanong kayo, pwede nyo light yung, ano na yun, yung nasa gilid nyo ng microphone. Pero, pag maingay, mag-discuss ako, pwede nyo pakimute muna. <laughs> yes, papay, papi, nagpa-plot nag, nag, tayo ng divergence. Meron tayong mga example niyan. Normally, pag nasa, nasa parabolic na, no, gagawa yan siya ng higher high, then gagawa yan siya ng, uh, tawag nito, gagawa siya ng regular bearish divergence. Later part, makikita uh, natin yan. Okay, so I'll move to the next. So, next is hidden bullish. Hidden bullish is usually trend-following type of divergence. 
if the price is making higher low, but the oscillator is making lower low, this is a considered to be hidden bullish divergence. This can be seen when the stock price is up the direction. Okay, note nyo ito. Note nyo ito. This can be seen when the stock price is an uptrend direction. Okay? It indicates that the price tends to go up more. So, the, <clears throat> so yung above photo is price. The, lo, the red na bulate is oscillator RSI. So, example ng hidden bullish divergence, ito. So, ito yung, ano, ito yung ani. As we all know, ani hindi na nakaka, ano yan. Ani hindi na nag, hindi na bumaba bumabalik sa baba yan. Babalik yan ba? Aakit ulit. Ang galing ng operator nito, eh, no? Galing. Nasa 15 na. Guys, use your, use your uh, Discord name, ah. Magkikik ako talaga. Okay, so, so, Ani, so yung price, making higher high, okay, high higher low, sorry, then yung, yung oscillator making lower low. So, ito yung Ani. Alright. So, any questions for this one? Before we proceed, you can ask, you can ask. I think, mas maganda kung... Okay. Lang, sir. okay. So, exaggerated bullish divergence. So, same as regular bullish divergence, but with just some deep differences. So, the difference from regular is the price makes either two tops or two bottoms. If the price making two bottoms, while the oscillator is making higher low, that is considered to be bullish. Okay? If nabutas yang if nabutas yung bottom, ng double bottom, magkat ka na. Or, <laughs> pwede rin siya consider as regular divergence, bullish divergence. It indicates that the price tends to counter the trend, but it can also be a trend following divergence. Okay? So, it's like this. So, price is... Um, double bottom and the indicator is uh, going up okay so an example is sinaw so ipapansin nyo nakita natin sinaw noon ng dos but hindi natin siya nasakyan kasi busy tayo <laughs> All right. So making do double bottom, <laughs> and the price is making lo uh, lower low. Okay. Any questions so far for the divergences? Okay. So far clear. Galing nyo ah. Akin questions ah. Advance kami mag-isip ni no. <laughs> All right. Regular bearish divergence. So regular bearish divergence is the most frequent. It is usually considered the sign of reversal. 
if the price is making higher high and the oscillator is making lower low uh, lower high this is considered to be regular bearish divergence it can be seen near tops okay so makikita niyo to normally sa mga mga hockey place or yung mga sikat na stocks like MRC, PXP, yung mga yan. Oo. So, yun. So, ito yun. So, price is making higher high. Then, the oscillator is making lower high. Okay? Sample is IMI. Okay, so IMI is like this. So, okay, no problem. So, making higher high, they're making higher low. Okay. Okay, hidden bearish divergence. Hidden bearish divergence is usually a trend following type of divergence. If the price is making lower high, but the oscillator is making higher high, then this is considered to be hidden bearish divergence. This can be seen when the stock price is in downtrend direction. Okay. Marami neto si CHP eh. Okay. We are MX also. Meron to. Nung na-spot na, na-spotan ko siya sa uh, 4 pesos. It indicates that the price tend to go down more. So, yun. So, ito yun. Price, making higher high. Then, uh, higher low. Then, itong, indi itong indicator natin is making higher high. Oscillator, sorry. Okay. So, CHP, CHP, BC, okay. Makikita nyo naman yung nakabilog na yan. Okay. Mamaya explain natin yan for, uh, further. So, isa-isa. Okay. Exaggerated bearish divergence. Same as to the regular divergence but with some difference. Ito yung mga top, uh, double tops. The difference from regular is the price mix either two tops or two bottoms. Ito yung normally two tops. Okay? If the price making two tops while the oscillator making lower high, that is considered to be bearish. And it indicates that the price tend to counter the trend, but it can also be a trend following divergence. Okay? Double top while the oscillator is making <clears throat> a lower high. Good example nyan is before ECPSEI. So, ganito kahalaga yung bearish divergence. If we see if we saw bearish divergence doon sa chart, magkakaroon na tayo ng uh, reaction. Oy, alam ko to. Uh, exaggerated bearish divergence to. So, <clears throat> advance na ako mag-isip nito. So, mangyayari nito is uh, tends to reverse the trend. Alright. So, how to trade, trade the Divergence. So, need to spot the divergence on the candle close. Okay? Candle close. Or normally, sinasama ko rin si week. No? Uh, we'll take uh, RSI as oscillator to spot divergence. Draw a trend line connecting bottoms or tops of oscillator and price at the same time. Use RSI value 14 days. 
as our default. Okay? I think default naman yan. So, alright. Let's go to question and answer. Uh, another example ng, ng divergences. Guys, you can open your mic na. Pwede na tayong mag-open discussion. Open mic na kayo, guys. Open mic na kayo. Yung mga gusto magsalita, pwedeng pwedeng nang magano, pwedeng nang magsalita. Okay. Yan bang MRP divergence? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, punta tayo kay MRP. So MRP technician. Kobe. Okay. MRP. Okay. Let's see. So MRP is like this. Okay. So MRP pulls to a uh, regular bearish uh, reg, uh, regular uh, what they call this? A regular bullish divergence. So, ito siya. Oh, great. Naka, naka, ano na. So, nagkaroon siya ng bottom over here. No? But, hindi siya na ano. But, yung RSI niya, o yung oscillator niya, is nag-advance. I mean, tumataas. So, ito yung good example ng sign of reversal ni MRP which is pansinin niyo naman na at, at this level no marami siyang volume o marami siyang buyer no so guys you can you can uh, ask more questions. Okay, I, I'll give you another example ng regular bullish divergence. Let's see yung partner niya, si Bloom. Uh, yung oscillator pwedeng MACD. So, marami tayong oscillator, but I use, pwede, mabilis natin makita yung R, uh, sa, uh, ano eh, sa RSI eh. So, we'll see on MACD. Oh, pwede din si I. Okay. So, ito yung kay ano, kay MACD. Ganyan natin to sa RSI. Marami tayong oscillator ah, like MACD and uh, uh, RSI. Hindi ko siya ginagamit yung MACD medyo lagard ng 2 to 3 days eh. So, mas prepared ko siya. Mas prepared ko si ano, si RSI. And mas mabilis may ispatan si RSI. Okay. So, eto, like this. Pwede siya sa pag ganito, no? Kasi nagpapansin ninyo, nag, nag, nag-make na siya ng ano eh. Oo, nag, nagbibid lang ako. Magbibid lang ako. So, mag, nagbibid ako doon sa bottom ng candle. Over here. Kasi yun yung support eh. I mean, near support. No? Correct. Gumagawa siya ng base. So, lagi, guys, always remember, hindi mo makukuha palagi yung bottom. No? Or di mo palagi makukuha yung top. So, always bid or sell near the bottom. Uh, near the bottom. Sorry. Always bid near the bottom. Okay? Always sell near the top or near the resistances. Okay? Or let's say, may nakita na kayong ano, ng regular bullish divergence like this, but then making ng base, making ng base, no? Making ng base. So, making ng base na siya. So, pwede na kayo mag-enter doon. So, how to identify base, no? Like this, napansin mo dito, uh, PT. So, on this area, 
nagbibig nagbibigay na sila ng base eh. Na I mean, nag-identify na siya ng base eh. Also volume. Nagbibigay na siya ng base eh. Over here. So, napansin mo nung nagbigay siya ng base, nagkaroon siya ng movement. No? So, which is ito. Nagkaroon siya ng movement. Okay? So, ispatan nyo yan palagi. Kasi itong, ano, itong pattern na to eh. Nagkaroon siya ng reversal over here. I will use RSI. Exaggerated ito eh. Exaggerated uh, bullish divergence eh. Diba? Over here. Let's say this part, hindi pa siya kasali. Ito pa lang. Yan pa lang. So, pansinin nyo yung nasa box. Huwag yung pansinin yung nasa box. Kunin, tingnan nyo yung nasa left, left side. Ito pa lang is exaggerated bullish divergence na siya eh. Diba? Pansinin nyo. Over here. Diba? So, dun pa lang, meron ka ng... Uh, <clears throat> points na pwede ka nang bumili. Kasi mayroon na rin siyang base. And after that, nakuha mo yung base, nagkaroon ng move, then TS ka na lang. Kasi mababa yung average mo, then trail stop ka na lang. It, hindi nag-go yung trend sa'yo. Any more questions, guys? <clears throat> so, that is Bloom. Yeah, Bloom mo na to. Okay. Wait. Guys, kung may question kayo, pwede kayo mag, ano, open ng, ng, okay. ah, sorry, MRP po pala yan. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, MRP po pala. Sorry. Yeah, MRP. So, dito pa lang, yeah, makakikita na natin. So, yes, gumagana siya, different time frame. Yes, yes, gumagana siya. But, syempre, yung different time frame, time frame mo, time, yung time frame na yun, kung saan mo siya naispatan, dun ka magbebenta. Or dun ka mag-set ng trail stop. No? Later, I'll give you, uh, okay, let's say, baita. I'll put on 30 minutes time frame. No? This one is an example of exaggerated bullish divergence. So over here, Papa Roots, over here, makikita natin na exaggerated. So nag-double bottom siya. No? Pansinin natin dito, over here. So 2.38, no? yung loss, ay yung, yung low niya. Then, if you have conviction, Pops, pwede ka mag in. No. Then your RSI is over here. Pansinin yung RSI is diwa. Pwede, pwede ka mag all in PT. Basta set ka lang ng cut loss mo. Okay? Kasi ang magiging cut loss mo diyan, syempre, is below ng below nitong double bottom eh. Diba? Below na itong double bottom eh. Yes, correct. So, I'll advise you, cut loss 2 ticks away from that bottom. It means 236. If conservative ka. Yeah. <clears throat> so, ito yung isa sa mga set ng different time frames. Okay. So, questions pa guys. Then, uh, so let's go over Bloom. So si Bloom, si Bloom also regular bullish divergence over here. So niri test niya. So niri test niya yung oversold area. No? Kung mapapansin niyo yung DNA, DNA ni ano no? DNA ni DNA ni, sasagutin kita, uh, uh, Ms. Sir Gadsky, later part. So, DNA ni Bloom, no? Minsan lang siya magpunta ng oversold. 
Hindi ko, guys, I'm not hyping any stocks, ha? but review na rin ito para sa inyo. No? Itong bottom natin ngayon sa PSEI is a good time for us to bodega. No? Let's say this one, Bloom is making base over here. Okay? But over here also. So, pansin niyo and pansin niyo rin yung RSI, meron tayong regular bullish divergence. No? Everything na oversold para sa akin is attractive, lalo na yung mga big names. No? Na minsan lang din silang pumunta ng oversold. Talagang binabound sila. So, aralin nyo yung mga <clears throat> stocks na mayroong ganyan, correct? Lagi tayong trade at your own risk. Hindi ako nagpo-promote ng stocks, but I'm giving you an <clears throat> homework. Aralin nyo yung mga nag-discuss natin ng stocks. Okay? So, one of example ng regular bullish divergence is this one again, Bloom. Okay, so let's see uh, over here. MRC. So MRC sabi, ito yung ano, classic example ng hidden, uh, hidden bullish divergence. No? Pansin ninyo dito, over there, over there. Over here, also over here. So, ito yung hidden bullish divergence. Ano sabi sa hidden bullish divergence? So, sabi sa hidden uh, bullish divergence, ito yung mga trend following type na divergence na makikita natin sa uptrend na stocks. No? Si MRC ba? Uptrend ba siya? Di ba? So, for me, oh, then, sabi niya, if the price is making higher low, higher low, which is dito yung higher low, ito yan, yan, then, then, the oscillator is making lower low, which is ito yan. Okay? So, what happened? Ano nangyari? Nagkaroon na naman siya ng base over here making base so yung mga conservative of be of be of player type no i advise you guys to pumasok kung ayaw niyo na mga downtrend or yung mga basing no I advise you pumasok na dito banda pag na break yang pwede tong area na to pag na break yang area na to yang 56 yang upper na candle na close pag na break yang pwede kayo pumasok diyan then your, your cut loss point is over here below this one if you are conservative, 0.52. Okay? So, but as I, as I say, meron na kayong nakitang base, base over here and meron tayong nakitang divergence. So, dito pa lang, meron na akong hint na, hey, sign up reversal again, meron tong magkakaroon ulit ng move continuous na up, at uh, ng uptrend which is nangyari nga how many rewards is this which is if you found this 42% within a few day a few weeks you yeah, are not bad 25 days 17 bars so less than uh 4 weeks less than a month okay so, yan yung mga hidden bullish divergence. Okay. Again, hidden bullish divergence, makikita natin yan sa uh, trend day stocks usually. And making ng higher low. Higher low. Again. Higher low over here. Then, <clears throat> then yung oscillator is making lower low, which is over here. Okay, then normally, as I told you, nag-basing nag sila bago sila magpalipad. 
or minsan magbibase sila ng three candles or two candles. Three candles most. Ganyan bago sila magpalipad. Meron, meron, madam, meron. <clears throat> meron. Is there, my question, si <laughs> Madam Dennis. De, uh, Dennis Uy, our is there any chance na my bearish divergence tapos after nag hidden bullish divergence meron Brad Pitt Brad Pitt can you show it to us Brad Pitt since nag present ka na pops pwede mong i-show sa atin para participation sa ano sa sa group discussion <laughs> kilala ko to ah <laughs> <Gago. laughs> all right so meron so sabi niya sambanda paki sabi daw ano ba yung questions niya no So, yes, yung, yung uh, as per John Lloyd, yes, ipaplat yan sa ilalim para mas madali mong makita. Ayun, wala. Okay, ang tanong mo ulit, Wait ah, wait, wait. Tap, ano yung kumula si Dennis, uy? Meron. Miss, actually, marami. Uh, give you. SSP. No. <clears throat> Ito. Isa. Dalawa. SSP. So ito yan yung ito yung hidden bullish divergence. Pero this part na rin is magiging Itong part na yan magiging exaggerated bearish divergence. Okay? Or pwede rin dito, over here. So, ito, Mr. Dennis Uy, over here, is red line is hidden. Okay? Then, red line, ah, bullish, ah, hidden bullish. Tapos, I'll make this one as over here. Bearish. Exaggerated. Okay? Nasagot ko ba yung tanong mo, he, uh, Dennis Uy? Okay, John Lloyd. So, nasagot ko naman, no? Paano decision? Okay, pag may nakita ka ng... Kunin mo pa rin yung ano, kunin mo yung bearish. Kasi, let's say, example, meron ka ng base, no? So, meron ka ng base. Pa, uh, kunin mo pa rin yung bearish. And also, check mo rin yung volume. Kasi volume magbagdidikta sa atin, eh. Another, another parameters, no? Yung volume. And also, 
Tray, check mo rin yung feeds, ano mo, Fibonacci retracement mo. No? Kung yung area na yun, kamusta na? Kung nasaan na sila? So, let's say over here, sabi ko nga sa inyo, 786 is one of the SOR, sign of reversal na para sa mga harmonic trader. But over here, sa 786, meron na tayong nakitang exaggerated uh, bearish divergence. So, yung mga ganyan, samahan mo ng mga another uh, parameters like Fibonacci or volume. No? So, nasagot ko naman. Huwag kayo masyadong mag, ano, mag, for confirmation din, magkuha din kayo ng ibang parameters, but powerful na rin yung, ano, ano, yung, yung divergence. Then, check nyo rin yung candlesticks. Importante ang candlesticks, no? So, actually, candlestick trading, mabubuhay na kayo dyan, eh, with RSI. Kahit Fibonacci, okay na yun. Kahit wala ng Fibonacci, candlesticks and RSI, divergent trade divergence trader pwede na rin eh mabubuhay ka na eh actually eh. di ba kasi advance ka nang mag-isip eh may nakita ka na price going down then yung oscillator going up so you are good example ano na yon good entry na yon then we'll look for the base okay buy near buy near the support Okay, sell near the top. Okay, so yah yung ano? May example nung kay kay Mr. Dennis Oi. So my my question si si John Lloyd sa mga parabolics no. Okay. So, ang parabolics kasi, sinasabi nila ang parabolics above 70. So, sa mga hindi nakakaintindi ng parabolics, ito yung mga above RSI 70. Or should I call this parabolics? Kasi tinatawag ko siyang parabolics, pero common term is parabolics. Pero tinatawag ko siyang parabolics kasi ano, tawag nito? Yung, nandun yung pera eh. Nandun yung pera. Nilalaro, nilalaro doon. So, wala ka na kasi ano doon eh. Uh, resistance. Meron ka palang resistance doon. Yun yung magiging top ng previous na RSI mo. Yun yung i-backtest mo yun. No? I-backtest mo yung area na yun. Tapos, hanapin mo yung pinaka-top or pinaka-nearest doon sa sa RSI mo na current. Okay? So, pa parabolic. So, dito pa lang, parabolic, pops. Ito, we, we can say na parabolic na to eh. Di ba? But, over here, nakakita na tayo ng double top eh. Di ba? Double top. PXP, good example. Double top. Then, RSI making. This is a <clears throat> exaggerated uh, bearish divergence. No? So, nag yes, nagpa-plot pa rin talaga ako ng correct. Kailangan kasi, usually, John Lloyd, yung mga parabolic, para sila magtuloy ulit ng, ng ano nila, laro nila sa taas, kailangan nilang i-break yung, yung divergence na current. No? Let's say this, ito, itong nangyari kay PXP, nasa parabolic siya, pero ang nangyari, hindi niya na-break yung divergence, which is tuloy-tuloy, nagtuloy-tuloy siya, di ba? Di ba? So, may example ako dyan. Bago. Current. No? 
current na ano, parabolic. Actually, ito, no? Pag ito on Monday, ang, mga, ang tingin ko sa Monday, no? Though may volume siya. May volume siya. But, kung iba backtest mo siya, no? Over here, may mga resistances na siya, no? Resistance, RSI na untog. Una. Then, over here, backtest. Okay? So, dalawa, tatlo. Tatlo na yung nauntogan. Di ba? So, tatlo na yung nauntogan niya na RSI. So, it means, this area na tatlong yan is malakas. So, for those na wala pang position dito o walang base, I will not advise you to get this because potential nito magagap up. Okay? Then, gagap up, itutulak nila, may week. Then, kinabuk, uh, later part, bubuhusan nila. Okay? Then, may make ng bullish divergence. Okay? Di, hindi kasi ako marunong ano eh. Ito, ano lang ha, uh, depende pa rin kay Miss Market, yung kay, ma kay Market, kung ano yung magiging result. But, currently, nasa top na kayo. Pwede ito maging uh, exaggerated bearish divergence or maging uh, regular bearish divergence. Okay? So, kaya ingat dito. So, think, magka magkakaroon ng isang Week dito, may magkakaroon ng week dito. Then, yung RSI niya, syempre, ang, ang close ng RS, ang candle lang susundin niya eh. Yung RSI eh. So, magkakaroon siya ng bearish divergence, which is regular bearish divergence. So, ingat. So, yung mga ganito na nasa parabolic, ma-anticipate mo na eh. Pero, pero, may, may mga instances din na binabasag talaga yung ano, no? Yung, yung mga, mga divergences. Uh, ani. Okay? Yan. Diba? Over here. Diba? So, over here. Diba? Pansinin nyo. Pero yung price niya is, big sabihin, magaling talaga yung hinete nito. Then, another, before, dati, is mat. Diba? Pansinin nyo, nagpera, <clears throat> parabolic din. Over the year. Over here. Diba? So, minsan may fake fake din talaga, pero kayong manghinayang. Normal yun. Ang importante, game kayo. Diba? So, over here. Diba? Pero ano nangyari? Nag-conso, then nagkaroon ng divergence ulit. Which is uh, exaggerated bullish divergence. Diba? So, question. Okay, I'll give you another <clears throat> example ng hidden bullish divergence. So, PXP. No? PXP over here. Okay, tanggalin natin yan mga yan. PXP over here. Hidden bullish divergence. Over here. 
Di ba? So, hidden bullish divergence, kanina din. But sabi nga natin is mostly sa mga trend stocks. But over here, sa nasa ano siya, babae siya. So, pansin ninyo, nag-make siya ng, <clears throat> ng base. Then making base, no? Is a good parameters na rin. And another mo na mangyayari is another na conviction mo, pang, convic pang dagdag sa trade conviction mo is Fibonacci levels. So, sandali, sagutin kita, Pops. So, itong 786, sabi ko kanina, is respected ng mga harmonic trader, pati yung 886. Actually, actually, yung, 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 tawag nito, yung mga Fibonacci trader din, respected din nila yan. Ichimoku, Ichimoku, si, si Mr. Ichimoku, no, yung personality doon sa Facebook. So, alam nila yan, yung mga areas na yan. Kung mapapansin ninyo na, na yung area na yan is talagang meron sila. So, may ilagay niyo na rin sila sa add niyo na rin sila sa Fibonacci niyo na ano <clears throat> na levels no so ito yung mga isang example ng hidden bullish divergence okay may may question si Papa Roots pagtawid ng RSI ng 50 di pa diyan PXP may question ka sir kanina Uh, just to share, mas ideal mag-enter pagtawid si RSI sa 50, pataas. Oh, Papa Roots, uh, iba kasi ng topic kay RSI, but sige, i, i, ano ko na rin, i, isama ko na rin, no? another, another na topic. So, over here, yung RS, RSI 30 RSI 30 oversold RSI 50 and above to 70 this area I call it momentum no so on, th on this level yung mga stock na nandito banda ang RSI or yung oscillator is my momentum. And also, attractive din sila sa mga traders. Kasi out na sila sa bottom nila. No? Nung pansin ninyo, si PRMX, nung napunta siya sa dito banda, no? Si ito yan. Maramis kumukuha sa kanya. Di ba? Attractive na siya eh. Pero saan tayo kumuha niyan? Nandito tayo banda sa nag-base. And making sila ng exaggerated bullish divergence. Over here, bullish di exaggerated bullish divergence na yan eh. Di ba? So, pero minsan kasi, uh, Papa Roots, Kaya minsan, yung mga nagtitrade ng RSI 50 and above, masasabi ko na mag-cut loss, mag-set kayo ng cut loss. Kasi not all na nasa above 50, nagtutuloy ng 70. No? Like this. Isa na to. Example. Hindi siya nagtutuloy. But kung nagkakaroon siya ng proper na consolidation, no? Maganda. So, on this per area, mangyayari niya, potential niya na i-revisit niya yung uh, RSI 70. But kailangan niya basagin niya itong uh, current na 
RSI dito. But over here again, meron tayong nakitang divergence na naman. Di ba? Di ba? So, another conviction sa trade. Then making base dito, banda. Consolidation. I'm not hyping the stock, but trade at your own, uh, own risk. Okay. So, questions pa, guys? Any questions? I mean, alpha setup. <laughs> Paps na ibang topic kaya tayo. Divergences pa lang tayo. So far, so, so good. Clear ba tayo, guys? So, another example. Okay. Oh. Uh, kasi usually, di ba, uh, yung mga divergence, ibig sabi, not, not all, ah, na, na, nakakita kayo ng divergence as a, may SOR, uh, reversal na, no? Only, ano, yung mga diverse, divergences lang is, sign lang ito ng reversal. Ad added conviction nyo yan. But, not all, eh, nagtutuloy. So, kailangan nyo siyang lagyan ng pa ibang parameters pa para, uh, madagdag yung conviction nyo, no? Kaya, let's say, yung buy time, no? Kaya, pwede yung all-in sa sinasabi ko sa'yo is, may another conviction over doon sa buy time na yon sa level na yon which is, may pattern, may pattern ng mga harmonic trader doon, no? May part na yan. Meron din, sabi, mayroon din, mayroon din. So, may pattern over dito kay Baita. Kaya nasabi kong, ano, uh, maganda. Niretest niya yung PRZ o Potential Rebellion Zone. No? Niretest niya and with volume. No? Ibig sabihin, yung over niyan, meron base dyan sa area na yan. At kung makita niyo yung mga transaction doon, traded volume yung time na yon is marami talaga kung papapansin nyo na marami talaga siyang traded volume. And meron din siyang divergence. But added conviction, pwedeng mag-all in. Over here is the PRZ zone ng harmonics. But this one is my added conviction only. Okay, so lagging indicator din ba ang divergence? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another good example is over here. <clears throat> so, uh, lagging, of course. Bigyan tayo ng ganito ni SSI. But bigyan tayo ng ganito, invalid. Di ba? Invalid siya, di ba? Uh, sabi. So, ito yung isa sa mga invalid. No? So, ito yung isa sa mga invalid na divergences. So, another one is let's say itong part, part na to is wala pa. No? Yung area na yan, wala pa. Pero binigyan tayo nito. Tapos dito. Uh, sabihin natin ito na lang. Mm. Ito na lang. Ito na lang. Mm. Yan na lang. Yan na lang. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, yan mga yan. Like that. 
invalid din yan. Di ba? So, kailangan nyo talaga magkaroon ng another na, ano, na parameters para makadagdag conviction sa inyo. Minsan mo fake ka rin talaga. Walang ano doon. Kasi laging, ano, laging, laging si Miss Market yung magde-decide. Hindi, si, hindi siya yung mag-a-adjust sa'yo. No? Kayo yung mag-a-adjust kay Market. Sa cut loss point mo, breakdown ng price. Yung breakdown ng trend line. Oh! Breakdown ng trend line. Di yeah. Breakdown ng trend line. So, sa mga ganito, this is, ano, normally, though, may pattern ako kay Mox, but, that another story. Pops, wala tayo sa ibang divergences pa rin tayo, Pops. Uh, Phoenix Trader. So, iba tang, ibang topic yan. So, divergences tayo. Pwede mong, uh, PT, pwede mong itanong yan, yung topic na yan. No? Correct. Probability, uh, sorry, uh, PT, pwede mong itanong yung topic na yan kay Fibonacci Trader sa Fibonacci Levels niya, no? So, kung gusto mong mahaman yan, mga ganyan, I think open si Fibonacci dyan. But, sa mga ganyan, is mahabang topic eh. Kung i-explain natin, ano tayo nyan. Okay? So, tama si Jimmy Kubo. Game of probability pa rin yan. It's just that, meron kang tools para pataasin yung chance of probability mo. Okay? So, yung mga yan, yung mga divergences na yan, Fibonacci levels, all of that, game of probability pa rin. So, ito lang yung mga tools na yan, natutulong yan sa para sa conviction nyo sa trading. Okay? So, let's say may divergence, pumasok sa Fibonacci levels niyo golden ratio. So, added conviction. So, I'll put the trade. If wala, okay, I'll, I'll back up muna. And then, go back again, visit again that stock, tignan mo kung kamusta yung stock na yun. Okay? So, so far, any questions? Another, another, uh, another uh, example. So, regular bearish divergence over here. Okay. So, over here, regular bearish divergence. Di ba? So, yan mga yan. Makita nyo na yung regular bearish divergence. Meron na, meron na kayong edge eh, Na kahit hindi kayo makasell sa top or near doon sa sa near doon sa top, at least makabenta kayo at higher gains. Hindi yung let's say nag, nag nandito kayo, nakita nyo na na, uy, uy, ganito, di ba? So, dito pala makikita nyo na na may chance na sell na malapit sa top. Okay? Though WPI is one of the he uh, he <clears throat> rides. Okay? Marami actually, marami. Marami tayong regular bullish day. Ito yung makikita mo yung mga price na exhaust exhausted na, no? So, so, yung mga price na exhausted na, no? Dito nyo makikita yung mga regular bullish divergence. Or in the making pa lang. Normally, yan yung mga nasa parabolic. Yung mga matataas na yung itinaas, no? MRC. Diba? MRC has regular bullish divergence. No. MRC over here.
So dito pa lang, nakita nyo na na may week na doon, no? Dito pa lang, sa unang candle pa lang, actually, ditong candle na to, meron ka ng ano eh, meron ka ng hint na, oy, selling na to. No? Selling na tong area na to. Bakit? Kasi, meron ng divergence. Di ba? And, wag mo na, para sa akin, no? Trail stop ka na dito. Wag mo nang hintayin tong, tong red candle na yan. Di ba? So, yung red candle na yan, pwede ka, mag-trail stop ka, madali mag-buy back eh. So, itong mga classic na example ng regular bullish divergence sa mga parabolics na na area. No? So, Trail stop na kayo dito. So, at least, hindi kayo naiipit sa tulad ng ganitong ride, no? Binigyan kayo ng ganitong flag pattern. Pwede rin kayo mag, ano dyan, no? Flag pattern. Pero, for me, sayang eh. Sayang yung gain nyo dito eh. Over here. 9%. Or kung galing kayo sa baba, no? That's 10%. So, sayang yung gain. So, at least, meron na kayong ahead of time na mag-isip na spotted, na mo, spotted mo na yung bearish divergence. Kahit over here pa rin, meron ka ng mini eh. Regular eh. Di ba? Dito eh, di ba? So, yan eh. Regular na yan eh. Di ba? So, then, tingin ko, kaya dito nagtuloy, is hindi nabasag yung divergence, which is this one. Kaya yung mga tops ng divergence, trend line, di ba? So, yun pa lang, makikita nyo na yung, oy, good example din to, uh, Dennis Uy, about, sa hidden bullish divergence, price is going up, oscillator is going down. But, meron din siya makikita bullish divergence. Nandiyan pa ba si uh, Dennis Oy? Mukhang wala na. So, yeah, mukhang wala na. So, so far, clear ba tayo guys? Klaro po. Uh, questions? So, another example ng Oh, pa-back test sa weekly chart. Okay. So, may stock may stock ka na gustong tingnan? Ano? May stock ka na gustong tingnan? Kahit ano? Okay. Ito ng magandang example, no? I'm not hyping, ah. Okay. Babalikan kita, newbie. Babalikan kita. Uh, huh. ah, okay. Pabaktest ng mga weekly. Okay. Over here. Hmm. Oh. Sige, tanong mo lang. Over here, Pops, merong divergence na, bearish, exaggerated. No? Anong trader ka? I mean, kasi, para sa akin kasi, no? Uh, wait at uh, sabihan kita mo balikan ko kayo unahin ko muna si ano no si si Papa Roots Papa Roots back test over here Baita using weekly chart so over here meron tayong
meron tayong exaggerated bearish divergence si Vita. So one of the example then no. Okay ba tayo, Papa Roots? So one of example, bigyan pa kita another. Hanap tayo. PXP PXP over here PXP regular bullish divergence no so, Pwede mo rin siya So question ni John Lloyd no Kung nakita niyo siya sa weekly na time frame Syempre mag magse-set ka ng weekly na TP mo or Tiger price mo or entry mo. Okay? Pero tapos bearish sa tawag nito, bearish sa daily, hindi magandang conviction 'yon. Meron siyang lesser na na percentage para sa conviction mo. Kasi minus point 'yon eh. May nakita ka na weekly na bullish, pero sa daily bearish. Meron 'yan. I'll give you an example. No? Weekly ni over here. Another example. Triple or oh. Something na ganyan. So, okay. Hanap tayo example sa iyo, Pops, John Lloyd. Ha? Ang question is, guys, ang question, para hindi sila nakakasabay, kung ang weekly, merong bullish divergence, pero ang ang tawag nito, ang daily may bearish divergence. So, tingnan natin yung chart na yan. Banda. Or vice versa. Okay. Okay. Para kasi sa akin yan, Pops, is ano eh. Tulad yan. Bullish. Kasi meron siyang ano dito. Saturated. No. Tapos double bottom also. So uh para sa akin yung pops is yung so para sa akin kunin mo yung week uh, daily. Kasi yung weekly kailangan pa niya ng another candle na week, no? Another week para makuha yung another na confirmation ba. So kung practice mo yung daily So, kasi kung weekly ka, I assume position trader ka, di ba? So, or, yeah. Tapos kung daily ka, pwede rin ang position. Correct. Kalawang <laughs> investor ako eh. Pero, advice ko daily. Kasi, mas makikita mo yung rewards mo dun eh. Doon, nandun na tayo sa whip, no? May whip. Pero pwede ka namang mag-buyback if met, if... Sabi nga, hindi naman natin kailangan i-again si market, no? Sunod ka lang kung ano yung plano ni market para sa iyo. Okay? Talk ba tayo diyan, Pop John Lloyd? <clears throat> so, may question si newbie, no? <laughs> Tak lang pa naman. Ratio question newbie. Kung sino ka man, Raise your questions. Kung may questions ka, iput natin sa table. So, para may pagkain tayo, mapag-discussion uh, dis, uh, uh, nan. So, sabi ni PT, pa-plot din po ng June 5 to June 25 na LRW. LRW. Okay. Okay. So, Nasaan ba si LRW? 
June 20, June Ano ka? June 5 Over here June 25 Which is ito Okay Then R RSI Okay This is completely uh, Divergence Diba? Ato, divergence. Ah, uh, may tanong ka follow up question. What's the plan? Ano mga tanong yun? Ano tayo sa ano sa sa ano parin tayo sa topic parin tayo? Okay, if, if I saw this one, okay, so kung body to body, daily to daily, weekly to weekly lang, huwag salawahan, okay, tama. So, kung ang system mo is body to body, uh, body to body, pet, I advise you, maging ano kayo, maging, maging open-minded kayo, it, kung, let's say, uh, body to body, plot mo, body to body, i-check mo din yung, uh, Weekly, uh, week to week. Added conviction mo yan. Okay? So, great. But I practice week to week. Okay. If, if I saw this one, okay. So, as I told you, another na conviction, hanap pa tayo ng another na conviction dito para i-trade mo pa to. Okay? Para i-trade mo tong stock na to. Do may nakita na tayo na 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 divergence, no? Over here, ni retest na from oversold from oversold from oversold to binira pataas near the 50, actually 50 to eh. Near the 50 na untog. So na untog siya. Then, nag-go down to retest the, uh, the, the, tawag nito, oversold area. Okay? So, may follow-up questions ka? Oh, can you consider ko yung volume? Kasi isipin mo to, PT. You know? Bidyan kita ng another example, no? Ano, ang average bo trading volume niyan is ito. Ayan. No? Ayan ang average trading volume niyan. Tapos, pansinin mo tong area na yan. No? Antimano on this part. Kasi so may gawin na ako ah. Dapat wala to sa uh, 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 divergence. Pero sige. Antimano, itong area na yan, maraming ipit no? na ayaw magbenta. Ibig sabihin, mayroong big fund dito na nandito pa. No, na might soon or not so soon na potential na ibalik yung gap na yon. As we know na potential, binabalikan natin yung gap over here. So, Sabi ko nga, sabi natin from that price until doon, it's potential na half bugger na. What did you do? You seated only. Currently, and down trend. Right? But normally, ang mga players dyan, bio players, papasok yan over here. Mga breakout. Confirmation na bottom out sila. So, so kung mga conservative kayo na ayaw nyo ng downtrend is doon kayo pumasok. But for for us na bottom picker kung makikita kami ng divergence o buy exactly as buy exactly 
by na signal. Alam mo yun? Less hassle eh. I mean, less hassle for us na bottom pickers. No? Mag-base ka dun sa baba. Then mag-add ka na lang dun sa breakout. Kasi for example, like, like, like first tranche mo sa breakout. Eh nag-all-in ka. Oh, let's say, nag-all-in like, ka na lang. Tapos yung yung stock is nag-bull trap. What happened? Di ba? But syempre, kung nasa bottom ka, kumuha. Pag nasa bottom ka, kumuha, may uh, i-set mo yung cut loss mo. Okay? But sabi ko nga, yung cut loss mo, huwag kang magka-cut doon sa mismong bot, uh, support. Okay? So don't cut near the support or support. This is the support area. Di ba? Antayin mo, antayin mong bumal at antayin mong bumalik sa taas bago ka mag-cut. Okay? But if may volume talaga, no? Ibang usapan 'yon. Kapag may volume, binrek yang ano na 'yan, yang bottom na 'yan ay ibang usapan na 'yan. Set your cut loss. Okay? Isipin mo ang daming tenes niya, no? Over here. One. Tapos, yung area na yan, wala masyadong seller. But, ang daming buyers. But, of course, in your description, ano nyo? Ano nyo na? Para sa akin, itong stock na to, less risk and high rewards. So far, question, guys. I'm not hyping the stock, ha? I'm not hyping the stock. System ko na yung inaano mo ah. Kinukuha mo. Of course, sinasama ko yan sa sa PT. Of course, sinasama ko yan sa ano ko, sa conviction ko o pag pag pagbabak test ko no. Lagi kong lagi kong ano, tinecheck yung DNA. But most most naman na inaano na trader consider niyo rin as yung DNA niya added conviction nyo. I mean, other peripherals nyo. Nag-break nung doon sa line, tapos may volume. Tapos, yung RSI ay lagpas sa 50. Ibig sabihin po, rebel sa nga trend. Of course, of course. Una sa lahat, volume. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi mo may volume, maraming buyers. Maraming gustong bumili sa ganong presyo na price. Okay? So, Then, and also, like, lagpas pa siya sa RSI 50. As I have told, above RSI 50, that is the attractive na para sa momentum traders. Okay? Attractive sa kanila yung area na yun, 50 to 70. Or mostly sa mga chupetero. And some of the big fundies, no? But bago nila itulak yun, may base na yun sila. Correct. Jimu Kubo, correct. <clears throat> uh, newbie, not really pag bumaba, bumagsak ng RSI 50, you know? Kasi minsan, no? May, may, may whip na tinatawag din, no? But, of course, lagyan mo pa ng added conviction, correct, retest, lagyan mo pa ng added conviction, like mga, mga candlesticks and <clears throat> Fibonacci levels. So, RSI topic na tayo. But, okay. But, bigyan mo pa ng another na conviction. Correct. Correct. Bio players, yan. Ayan ang ano nila. Ayan ang, ayan ang, <clears throat> ano nila, no? May questions pa ba guys? May questions pa? Over here, we have 
Divergence din eh. Hirap naman. Di ba? Kaya, kaya yung iba, tuwang-tuwa kanina nakabotom. Kung, may, kung alam nyo yung divergence during the time na nag, nag-trade, no? Ilang percent yan? May nag may nag-send na to eh. Kanina. 8%. Set ka ng target over here. Kahit dito lang eh. Ayan oh. Itong, itong area na yan. Hindi ko mausog eh, no? Pero itong first 5 minutes na ano, candles, candlestick na to, pwede, ka, pwede mong gawin niyang resistance. Actually, resistance mo yan. Which is nagre-resist sila, oh. Pansin ninyo, sa 1050 uh, area. Nagre-resist sila. And another, nagre-resist sila, no? Ay, shucks. Nagre-resist sila. Nag-resist sila. Nagkaroon tayo ng over here. Yeah. Over here. Meron ng exaggerated bearish convex, uh, bearish uh, divergence. So, yan yung mga example, no? ng mga, alam mo na, trades. So, kung, kung magiging divergence player kayo, no, divergence trader, samahan mo ng candlesticks and of course RSI na dyan na yan. Then, Fibonacci, buhay ka na dun. Promise. Questions? If you are a Chupetero day trader, chase it. If you are a position trader, what will be your basis on your position? What will be my basis on my position? Madaming questions si PT na no? unrelated sa topics, no? <laughs> Go ahead. Not a uh, question to answer. Okay, I will not I will not answer your questions. Eji, you can Okay, okay. Sige, sige. Pagbigyan natin si Eji bagong pasok. EW. Anong meron, sir? Oh. Ito is another uh, divergence, no? Divergence then, But, bigyan mo na another conviction to. But another conviction na din, oversold. No? But another conviction na rin, see you, 13 pesos. <laughs> oh, anong anong ano natin, sir? May divergence tayo over here kay 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 EW. But bigyan mo ng another na ano na Kasi normally no, guys, pag ang divergence test patan niyo, normally magba-bounce siya na eh. Pero itong bounce na to is shortly bounce. Then, magkikrate na naman siya ng another low na price. No? To create another divergence or break that another, break that bullish divergence. Then, create a base again and make another divergence bullish. Okay? So, anong question mo, sir? Ah. Uh, anong question mo sir newbie? Ah, uh, no sorry. Newbie. 
Guys, nandiyan pa ba kayo? Parang konti na lang nagpa-participate ah. So far, questions, guys. Oh, kung may question kayo kay Jimmy Kubo, I will give the mic to Jimmy Kubo. Jimmy Kubo. Jimmy Boy. Gusto mo ba mag-speaker? Gusto mo bang mag-present ng one minute mo? Correct, correct, Pops. But, uh, Papa Roots, correct, uh, tawag nito, may sobrang konti ng coverage ng divergence. Oo, meron. Ah, konti lang. But, promise, itong divergence na to, dito pa lang, makikita mo na yung bottom or near bottom. Ito yung isa sa mga tinatawag ng harmonic trader na secret sauce. Secret sauce naming mga harmonic trader. Oy, yung tatanong na to ng RSI Gaming. Newbie. <clears throat> Newbie, ah... Uh... Okay, okay. Uh, out of the topic actually, but pwede, sige. I-ano na natin, extend na natin yung topic ng RSI, no? So, ilagay na natin yung topic ng RSI. Boom! Sino yun? Sino yun? Pakilala ka, sir. Pakilala ka. Si Piti po. Ano, ano, ano? Si Piti po. Ah, uh, okay. Etong RSI game, ano no, RSI play. Marami ba tayo dito? 25. So, 25 listeners. So, eh bati po isa-isa. Ah, uh, giving ko na lang yung kay DMW. I'm using ano no RSI and pag gusto kong maglaro no ng RSI gaming ang sabi niya ang tanong niya is, is sa lahat po ba ng classing play opo sa lahat po ng classing play BO momentum PF position or swing but yung trend following no you might not consider yung indicator okay Kasi pag sinabi mong trend following no or momentum uh trend following no meron silang ano eh meron silang specific na na kinukuha eh na let's say I'll give you an example ah Mac Mac is I think Okay uh Ang ano natin, 20, ang MA50 natin is kulay green. No? Kulay green ang MA50 natin. So, over here, ang nangyayari, nirerespeto niya yung 50. 50. 50. oh dito 50. Hindi siya na binababa ng 50. Pero nung binaba ng 50, no? Binaba siya ng 50. Nangyari na naman na another na ano na tawag nito may inaano na naman siyang another na line which is MA100. Di ba? So, depende sa mga first stock na yun eh. Obserbahan nyo yan pag mga TF plays. Obserbahan nyo yan. So, may mga nire-respeto silang MAs or may nire-respeto silang levels. No? So, yan yung mga TF player. Trend follower. So, sabi nga nila, when the, when the trend bend, Be a player then, Jimmy. 
Pero pag TF Leo is no. Uh, mahirap. Correct, correct. Good, 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 good answer. Nas kung nasagot ko yung questions mo, uh, newbie, nasagot ba yung questions mo ni Jimmy Kubu? Uh, questions pa, guys? <clears throat> So, questions pa guys. Itong trend following actually, <clears throat> ano to eh, uh, medyo mahabang, ano eh, mahirap na topic actually, but I'm not the right, uh, I'm not the right speaker for this. But I can, uh, I can, uh, <clears throat> I can add, add on for that. But I will, I will leave it to sa ibang speaker. Okay. So far, questions. Yo, so yung cheat sheet. Okay. Pwede nyong kunin yan dito. No? Marami nagtatanong about recording. Okay, bigyan ko kayo ng recording nito. But I don't know how pa, no? But check, -check natin kung makuha ko yung recording. Okay. Then, questions pa, guys. Tag mga UAE boys dyan. Middle East. Kamusta kayo dyan? Ah, newbie, pakilala ka. Kanina ka pa doon ng tanong ng tanong sa ano eh, RSI eh. Pakilala ka. Sasagutin ko yan. Pakilala ka, sir. Pakilala na daw, oh. Gabi na. Okay. Sige. Uh, sir, what if reaching RSI 70 but walang volume? Candle is green. Of course, your una sa lahat, no? If reaching RSI 70, ang, all we know na, RSI 70 is over, so, overbought. No? Overbought. RSI 70. Near sa overbought. Gusto mo bang bumili doon sa near overbought tapos wala ka pang volume? Which is yan yung tapunan na area natin. Okay? Gusto mo bang bumili doon sa area na overbought? Paano ba sa Tagalog yun? Na? Sobra ng binili. No? Sobra ng binili ng mga tao. Okay? So, most ng stocks Yung RSI 70 or near RSI 70 is tapunan na, ng air, tapunan na nila yon or selling na nila yon. Hindi man sila makasell dun sa 70 or mabreak. Hindi man sila makasell dun sa 70. At least, nakasell sila near sa 70. Then, if RSI 70 if RSI 70 breaks, ibang usapan na yon, Okay? If RSI 70, RSI 70 breaks with volume, look back to the highest, uh, no, 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 near, res near resistance ng RSI. Okay. <laughs> so, last na to. So, bigyan kita na example, Mr. Lone Wolf. No? Over here. So, na-break niya tong area na to. Ng RSI, or over here, na-break niya to. Pero, pag nag test ka, yung top na yan, pag nag-backtest ka, kasi yung, yung ano na yan eh, yung, itong top na yan, ng RSI na yan, ito yan ang green candle eh. 
Itong green candle yan eh. Ito po yan, sir. Ito po yan, green candle na yan. No? So, pag nag-backtest ka, ito yun. Ito yung next na resistance mo. Backtest ka over here, meron kang another resistance ng RSI. Kasi kalimitan, kalimitan eh, no? Hype na hype kayo sa isang stocks na sa isang stock na overbought or nasa pera 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 bells or pera, parabolic eh. Kasi totoo, nandun yung pera. But you must know your risk. Your risk is so high. Di ba? Your risk is so high. Eh, paano kung hindi ka nag-backtest nung time na yun? Paano kung hindi ka nag-backtest nung time na yun? No? At hindi mo nakita, yung area na yon na currently sitting yung RSI is meron palang resistance pag na-backtest mo. E di kung nangyari yon nangyari na nga daw, mapapakat ka. Which is, alam nyo na, shake or cut loss. Which is, ang laki niyan. Kung mapapans, ito yung time na nag-hang eh, nag si, si, yung mga brokers eh. ba diba? Almost flooring eh. Diba? So, yun. So, laging backtest. No? So far, questions, guys? May natutunan ba? So far, clear ba tayo? Kung may questions kayo about divergences, risk, Raise it, put into the table, and we can have discussion. We still have a few minutes. Oh, class, another topic with the RSI. I normally use the default one is 14, no? But some of some of the traders use the 30, including the <clears throat> spy prat, spy prat, no? The spy prat using the 30, pag para parabolic na, no? But on my case, I'm using at uh, 14 only. Kasi mas makikita ko yung ano eh, mas makikita ko yung divergence doon eh. And mas makikita ko yung uh, tawag nito, yung yung pinaka resistance ko over the the back test eh. And also mas aggressive, mas ahead ka doon sa 30 days. Correct. Any, anything else, guys? Questions? Depende rin yan sa'yo, Kulas. If, ano yun, pero, para sa akin, no, if you are good dun sa RSI na yun, correct? Kung if you are good dun sa RSI na yun, and yung R, sabi natin na RSI 14 is prof, profitable sa'yo yung uh, system na yun, why not choose, bakit ka pa mag-choose dun sa 30? Eh, bago lang yun sa'yo. But, of course, of course, ano, ang mangyayari nun is, uh, nag-expand ka ng kalaman mo. But be careful pa rin, kasi profitable ka na dito sa, sa, sa system mo na to, but be careful pa dun sa added mo, kasi baka ma, mag, magka-jumble. No? Oy, may, 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 may add yata si Jimmy Boy. Jimmy Boy! Tanta ka naman dyan. Siya nga pala si Jimmy Bondok. <laughs> Guys, any questions? Nagahang yung ano ko eh. Nagahang yung, yung window ko. Naririnig nyo ba ako? Ah, Naririnig ka naman. Okay. Um, just to add dun sa RSI. Um, basically kasi, ay, um, just to add para dun sa divergence. Basically kasi ang divergence is um, in a nutshell ang divergence eh yung mismatch ng movement between yung right. price at yung RSI or kung ano man yung indicator na gamit mo. So kung may mismatch, yun yung parang ano mo uh, trigger mo, early trigger mo uh, na mayroong potential reversal na mangyayari. So yun yung ano, yun yung ibig sabihin ng divergence. Uh, so importante lang na maintindihan natin siya. Hindi importante na makabisado mo lahat ng nasa cheat sheet siya. Just pick one 
Tapos, mastering mo lang through uh, several back tests. Kung saan ka pinakomportable. Eh, wala siyang ano eh. Hindi siya one size fits all eh. Um, correct, correct, correct. Lagi kang kailangan merong ano, plano bago ka mag-trade. So, dapat meron ka laging uh, cut loss or ano, trail stop. Hindi ka po pwede mag-hope lagi dyan sa, ano, sa market. Especially yung ano, yung bear market ako magte-trade ka, sobrang taas ng risk mo. So, kailangan batayin mo lagi yung ano, entry at exit prices mo. Yun lang yung madadagdag ko. etong divergence na yan, eh, sobrang powerful na tool yan. So, use it to your advantage. Correct. <clears throat> so, thanks for that, Jimmy Boy. Thanks, uh, Jimmy. Questions, guys. Any more to add? If you guys want to add more yen, the floor is yours. You can add more. Questions, questions. Divergence, about divergence. More example? More example. Begin at then. KSEI. Secret sauce. Di ng Aris, uh, ng Harmonic. Okay. Wala eh. Pang divergence. Over here lang. Diba? Yeah. But still, on sideways, over here we have resistance. Yeah. So seven four near seven five we have resistance. So questions? So lagi silang mag ano no magkasalungat. Nagalog na no mas kas, magkasalungat, magkasalungat. Questions pa guys? So, there are no questions. So, we can wrap it up. Questions? Wag kayong... Uh, Sir Eji, I'll give... I'll give to you the... Nasa PC ka ba? Mag-present ka ng chart... ng chart mo... Uh, ng, ng... Oh my goodness, iPhone. So, pa-chart, anong, kasi actually out of the topic na, and nabigyan na kita ng answer doon sa isa mo, kanina, next time na yan. <laughs> Questions pa? Taga Singapore ka ba? Bukas mo itanong yan. Bigyan kita ng maraming Epektus <laughs> ng mga bulong. Alam ba yung mga bulong ng hudyo? Nabaho pa. Nakasira ng trading yan. Okay. Bukas punta ka. Bukas punta ka. Bukas punta ka. No, Edgy? Huwag mong sayangin yung ano. Yung pagkakataong, <clears throat> you know guys, nung nag-meet up kami, may isang tao nagbulong sa akin ng bull. So, kaya na kaya nahuli natin ito. <laughs> Oops, kasama po ba yun? Mukhang kailangan kong i-ano yun ah. I-post yung about doon ah. So, Questions, questions. Open na, open na, open na. Dali. Mag, ano kayo? Mag, wag kayong mahiya. We still have time. We still have time. No? Still have time. 
So, basta ala, ano yun yun lang, bakit ba mahalaga ang divergence? So, questions guys? Sige lang, tanong lang. So, wala na. Tulungan na daw. Bulungan kita, Piti. Yung ano ko, yung size M ko na tawag nito, jacket ng ipit. Oy! I will not advise you to all in sa LRW, you know. But good to have base pa rin. Okay? Kasi pag nakhit yung cut loss ko, no, kita-kits tayo. Bahala ka kayo dyan. <laughs> Oy, mag, ano kayo guys? Middle East Middle East boys. Uh, Marcus, Kobe, Intel. Ewan. Sino pa to? Si Chris. Salita naman kayo. Wala. Mga mahihiyain tong mga to. I see. Hindi niyo mabasa yung PowerPoint ko, no? Ayan. Sir, nababasa mo na? <laughs> pag Timson daw kami. Good advantage yung Timson, no? But pag nasa on the go ka, no? Mahirap, eh. Kung lalo ka lang lagi ka naka, naka phone nagtitrade, mahirap, eh. Kasi web-based siya, eh. Pero kung meron kang, ano, kung meron kang Microsoft Surface, na handy. Oh, why not? Pero Phil Stocks is a very is, is a, a good very good uh, broker din. Mabilis. Makikita mo rin yung market depth. May tanong si Sabi. Sabi mag hindi, mag itanong mo yan sa akin ng may may bosses. Tanong mo sa akin yan ang may boses, sabi. Gusto ko marinig boses mo eh. Wala, ayaw magsalita. Mayayin itong mga to. Disable ba? How come? Kanina pa pala kay disabled. Self-muted eh. Self-muted eh. Pwede yung, yung sa gilid ng ano, no? yung sa gilid ng camera, pwede kayong mag ano, pwede kayong mag, paano ba to? Ako naman, hindi makapag-message na. Bakit? Oh. Us. Okay. So, not really, no? Not really yung tanong mo, no? Na blind, blind trading na, no? Kasi, hindi lang naman RSI yung mga parameters natin, no? Mayroon pa tayong mga ibang, ibang ano dyan, like Fibonacci, RSI like oversold, yung mga yan. So, hindi lang, ano, hindi lang divergences, no? At nasagot ko ba yung tanong mo doon? Tingin-tingin ko, nasagot ko naman. Oh, may mga questions pa ba? Hello? Oh, sino yan? Sino yan? Sabi. Ah, uh, Pops. Pops ka pala po siya. <laughs> Alam mo, Tops, no? Hindi na kita ni DM. Nakasalpiated pala. 
Ayaw ko lang nakita. Alam, alam, alam ko na na yung lalaki ka. May self-muted pa lang. <laughs> so, sa gilid dyan, tanggalin nyo yan. Tanggalin nyo yan. Ayaw ko lang nakita. <laughs> yan. So, guys, questions pa? Serigot, may questions? Serigot. Question, Serigot. Wala na yata, natulog na. Chris, may question? Chris? Sorry, uh, hindi ako nagbubulong. Exclusive para sa mga ano. Chris? Okay, great. Uh, secrets, Delver of Secrets. Walang anuman. Anytime, guys. Kamusta? Uh, may questions ka, Delver? Edgy? May question ka? Edgy boy? Tulog na. Pagtitikin ko kayo, tapos nagbubulong ako dito eh. Ayaw niya sumagot eh, no? <laughs> Gadski! O, wala ka ng questions? Jake Cyrus! May questions? In love ka na ba sa bosses ko, Marcus and Lucas? <laughs> si Lone ata, pa-play daw ng slides. 13 pa yan. Si Mai, kamusta Mai? Questions? Sendan mo ako ng pattern yan, Gadski. PW. My questions. Wala. Pasimulan mo na. Popper. Ito, magaling ito si Popper mag-gapin eh. Uh, Popper. Uh, itong divergence, really ano to eh, no? Pag sa popper, popper, popper. Ala. Tulog. Oh, papay na. <laughs> Tulog na. Okay. Di ba nag, ano ka, nag, nagpo-forex ka? Yung divergence ba, is sobrang, sobrang, Sobrang nakakatulong sa forex, di ba? So, great. So, so yan mga yan. So, Cheryl, may questions ka ba? Testing, testing. And sabi, wala na daw. Doc! Trader Doc! Kanina ka pa nandito eh. May questions po ba, Doc? Doc! Maga kayo kanina. May questions po ba kayo? Bidyan ko kayo ng dalawang questions na unrelated sa topic. Wala. Okay, tulog si Doc. <laughs> okay guys Di kasi Doc 12 o'clock So I think We will wrap it up So Guys Mag wrap it up na tayo Thank you sa listen nyo lahat
Huwag niyong kakalimutan ang cut loss. Ang cut loss, hindi yan inuusog. No? Ang cut loss, hindi inuusog. Kung saan nyo sinet ang cut loss, doon nyo ilalagay. Hindi nyo iuusog. Doon nyo itatapon. So, ang um, ano to? That's cut, cut loss. Ang trail stop, inuusog mo yan. <laughs> so, trail stop, inuusog yan. Ang cut loss, hindi. So, yan lang ang ma ma masasabi ko sa inyo. Ang ko sa inyo. Salamat sa pakikinig ninyo, guys. And, good night. Salamat, sir. Salamat, sir. Ninong. Okay. Walang problema. Salamat, sir. Walang problema. Thank you, Ninong. Ninong, thank you. Salamat, sir. Salamat, sir. Salamat, sir. Salamat, sir. Salamat, sir. Salamat, sir. Harmonics naman. Good night, good night, guys. Biglang ng labasan. Ninong, thank you. Good night. Salamat. Ay, Ninong, may bubulong pa ako sa'yo. Oh, may bubulong mo. Ninong, pwede bang sabihin oh. sino yung taga-bulong? Thank you, Ninong. Alam mo naman. Pwede <laughs> <Okay. laughs> niyo. Pamasko daw ni. Ninong anak mo yan? Anong pamasko gusto mo? Pamasko daw, Ninong. O, bibigyan kitang stock mamaya, bulong. Pamasko ko na yan. <laughs> Iro lang. Mga pinito. Pang tuition fee ni no. Hoy, sira ulo. BMW daw all in. <laughs> oh. Trade mo yan ni no? Ha? Na trade mo yan? Alin? Yung BMW. Oh, tinrade ko kanina. Bakit malu? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, but I going. Ah, ganyan ano, tirahan, uh, may volatility. Ito mo na. Nandiyan yung mga of course, binato na. Kakasabi ko lang kanina. Ano, nino? Oh, tsaka. Yo. Oh, tsaka. Good night, hindi. Maliit lang, 5% lang. Good night, good night. True walk through. Hi. So, guys, Salamat sa inyo, pakikinig. And mabuhay kayo. Ay, yung ano ko ah, hoodie ko, sir. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Walang ano man. Medium. Hey, Oy, si Joey magsasarita. Anong sasabihin mo, Joey? Baka umiinom. <laughs> Magtanong lang kayo, guys. Mag sasagutin natin yan, but not all the time na makakasagot ako dyan, no? But, <clears throat> di naman responded na talaga, but, sasagutin ko as much as possible, no? Pero yung last two question? Wala na, close na. <laughs> Buta ayaw mo pag sa akin. Pag personal na yung questions mo, eh. Hindi, hindi so, yung personal. Ano na questions mo? Sigurado ka sasagutin mo. Trading naman ni. Eh. Questions ka. Kung ano masasagot natin yan. May position na naman sa IW. Di ba matagal ko nang sinabi. Nandun na tayo. Nandun tayo. 2.4. 2.4. 39. Okay. Eh yung PRM explain hold ka pa? Wala na ako. Wala na ako. Doon. Bet na loob. So, Para yun lang. Yung mga yan. Bulungan kita, okay lang? So, Dos. bulung mo na lang in private. <laughs> in private. So, pwede rin, pwede rin dos. Pwede rin makakuha ko doon. Walang problema. 190. So, pwede rin, 190. 180. So, sige, dyan ka na. Buksak. <laughs> Pero Joke sabi lang. ko sa inyo, guys. Don't sell sa support. Okay? 
Don sell sa support. Below. Ilang ticks below? It's 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 in your ano na system. Ano na uh, So Ano ka so, ba break guys, it, ba? All around ako. All around? Uh, trader, uh, Doc, wala ka talagang questions? But oh mas my. gusto ko yung... Yung si Doc din eh. Ano din hmm. din eh. Mas gusto ko yung ano eh. Position. Or yung mga high rewards. Wow, high rewards. Hi, Mami. Apo, si Piti po yan, Marcos. So, kung ano? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> na magkakasino, Mami. Live na ako next week. Alright. Salamat, Ninong. Alright. Exit na rin ako. Good night, Ipits. Magpalain ang Ipits. Okay, back up na. Good night, guys. Good night.